Welcome to this tutorial video on generating the images with Deep Convolutional Generative Adversarial Network. Here we will generate images with Generative Adversarial Network, GAN. What are GANs? GAN is Generative Adversarial Networks belong to the set of generative models. It means that they are able to produce or to generate new content. It have two networks generator and discriminator. Generator will make a fake data from a random seed and discriminator is to figure fake data and real data. Generator is a neural network trying to create data that looks real. Generator have to pass through many tries to produce a data that is undistinguishable to discriminator. Generator is trained to fool discriminator by producing fake data that is as close as the real data. Discriminator is a neural network figuring data to determine if they are real or fake. Discriminator is place for improvement of generator to produce data that is as close as to the real data. So at last the generator learns to make a data that is indistinguishable from real data to discriminator. For this coding it mainly have 6 steps. 1. Setting parameters. 2. Preparation of training data and iterator. 3. Preparation of the model. 4. Preparing optimizer. 5. Preparation and training of updater trainer. 6. Checking the performance with test data. For setting parameters we will be using the following code. N underscore epoch, it is epoch number meaning how many times we pass through the whole training data. Is number of hidden units meaning how many hidden state vectors each recursive neural network. Batch size meaning how many train data we will input as a block when updating parameters. Snapshot underscore interval is number of iterations per snapshots. Display underscore interval is number of iterations per display the status. GPU ID is the ID of the GPU to use. For collaboratory it is good to use zero. Seed is a random seed. 2. Preparation of training data and iterator. We will use the following code for importing data set. The SAFAR 10 data set stands for Canadian Institute for Advanced Research which is a collection of images that are commonly used to train machine learning and computer vision algorithms. SAFAR 10 has a set of small natural images and in the original images, each component of pixels is represented by one byte unsigned integer. Let's retrieve the SAFAR 10 data set by using Chainer's data set utility function get underscore SAFAR 10. And for the iteration, we will be using the following code. Serial iterator is a built-in subclass of iterator that can retrieve a mini batch from a given data set in either sequential or shuffled order. The iterator's constructor takes two arguments, a data set object and a mini batch size. 3. Preparation of the model. In this step it will define a network. Deep convolution generative adversarial network uses convolutional neural network. In a fully connected neural network each neuron is connected to other and for it to process heavy image the number of weight for the first hidden layer become much more sophisticated. So in convolutional neural network a neuron in a layer is only connected to a small region of layer before it instead of all neuron in fully connected manner. The primary difference between DC GAN and other GAN is it adds up sampling convolutional layer between input and output. In addition in discriminator it uses regular network to figure fake images and real images. Here are some important things of DC GAN that differ from other GAN. Replace all max pooling with convolutional stride. Use transposed convolution for upsampling. Eliminate fully connected layers. Use batch normalization except the output layer for the generator and the input layer of the discriminator. Use ReLU in the generator except for the output which uses 10. Use leaky ReLU in the discriminator. So now let's create network for generator. Which can be done by the following code. The generator uses upsampling layers to produce an image from a seed, random noise, and upsample several times until it reach the desired image size. So now let's create network for generator. Which can be done by the following code. When we make a network in chainer, we should follow some rules. Define a network class which inherits chain. Make chainer.links s instances in the init underscore scope of the initializer underscore init underscore. Concatenate chainer.links s instances with chainer.functions to make the whole network. As we can see from the initializer underscore init underscore. The generator uses the deconvolution layer deconvolution 2D and the batch normalization batch normalization. In underscore call underscore, each layer is concatenated by ReLU except the last layer. Because the first argument of L.deconvolution is the channel size of input and the second is the channel size of output, we can find that each layer have the channel size. 
When we construct generator with CH equals 1024, the network is same with the image above. When we concatenate a fully connected layer's output and a convolutional layer's input. As we can see the first line of underscore call underscore, the output and input have to be concatenated with reshaping by reshape. Now let's us define a network for the discriminator. The discriminator can be defined by the following code. The discriminator network is almost same with the transposed network of the generator. However, there are minor different points. Use generator.functions.leaky underscore relu as activation functions and is deeper than generator. Lastly it adds some noise when concatenating layers. Finally it make the instances of the generator and the discriminator. 4. Preparing optimizer. Shenner provides a wide variety of optimization algorithms that can be used to optimize the network parameters during training. They are located in optimizers module. In here it uses atom optimizer which introduces the additional parameters. Alpha is coefficient of learning rate. Beta 1 is exponential decay rate of the first order moment. Here it optimizes generator and discriminator. 5. Preparation and training of updater. Here it trains the network. We feed random values to our generator, which will learn to duplicate image out of this noise. We also take care that neither the generator nor the discriminator becomes too strong by balancing their losses. Otherwise, this would inhibit the learning of either part and could even stop the network from learning anything at all. And here every improvement made by generator is being saved due to update. So at the end of update, improve result can be displayed. 6. Checking the performance with test data. So for the last step we try to display the final generated image from a random seed. As we can see that there will be some difference but we will get the best result. We need to install Shenner and for that we should change its backend to GPU. If the runtime type of Cola battery is GPU, you can run Shenner with GPU as a backend. Now let's install Chainer. For that use the following code to install Chainer in Google Colab. It might take some time for complete installation of Chainer. After the installment of Chainer let's import the necessary modules, then check the version of Shenner, NumberPy, Cuppy, CUDA and other execution environments. As explained earlier we will follow the steps to proceed with DCGAD. 1. Setting parameters. Use the code that was explained earlier. Preparation of training data and iterator. It will take some time to download the Safar 10 data set. As explained earlier it is a collection of images that are commonly used to train machine learning and computer vision algorithms. It is one of the most widely used datasets for machine learning research. Although this is an optional step, we'd like to introduce the iterator class that retrieves a set of data and labels from the given data set. There are some subclasses that can perform the same thing in different ways. Here, we use serial iterator, which is also a subclass of iterator. 3. Preparation of the model. Here it will define the network, which will create the model called GAN deep convolutional GAN. And this model uses convolutional neural network. First code define a network for the generator. Then for the second code it will define the discriminator network. For this code it will add some noise when concatenating layers. Here this code will make the instances of the generator and the discriminator. 4. Preparing optimizer. Next, let's make optimizers for the models created above.
Now this code will apply the optimizer to generator and discriminator which is be created earlier. 5. Preparation and training of updater. The GAN need the two models, the generator and the discriminator. Usually, the default updaters predefined in Shenner take only one model. So, we need to define a custom updater for the GAN training. For this code it updates the generated image. The training loop begins with generator receiving a random seed as input. That seed is used to produce an image. The discriminator is then used to classify real images, drawn from the training set, and fakes images. Here the loss is calculated for each of these models, and the gradients are used to update the generator and discriminator. And here, snapshot underscore interval equals, snapshot underscore interval, iteration, takes the numer of iteration for production of better generated image. Here the generated image will run till it reaches the iteration limit. To run the training it is taking lots of time. So I have shown the video and shown after completion of running the training. So it might take some of your time training your generator. As you can see that it took lot of time. Here I have reduced the runtime but still is taking lot of time. Six. Checking the performance with test data. Let's use the saved model to classify a new image. In order to load the trained model parameters, we need to perform the following two steps, instantiate the same network as what you trained. Overwrite all parameters in the model instance with the saved weights. Now this code will display the first generated snapshot. As we can see that the generated image have a better quality. And moving on with next or last snapshot we will be using the following code. Thank you all for watching this video.